Okay, battery's on. That was good. Okay, awesome. That was good. Water's good. Okay. Well, feel pressure. Right, yeah. Ready? Yeah, ready. It was built with our little um, 112 eating system on it. The guy wanted to, decided to turn, give it a big birthday and turn it into something really special. Loved it, but wanted to go further with it. Um, so we've got this Harrop 2300 supercharger system. Now the Harrop system actually sits up quite a bit higher. It um, runs a nice big sandwich plate, which means it's got nice airflow. The negative of that doesn't fit under the bonnet. So what we've done, modified inside here, and you can see on the outside of it, it's got a spoiler that I've actually made. I've actually got a spoiler, cut it up, put it all on there, graft on there. But it's starting to look pretty good. Um, the, the car's had a basic paint job, there's more work to go there. It's getting interior and bits and pieces, so lots more work to go. Uh, but what we've got under here is just, basically it's a start-up video, so the owner can see um, his engine fire up. It's also sort of the beginning of the process with the project. But we've got the engine in there. It's got this Harrop system on. Like I said, nice big drive system, big eight rib drive system down to the crank. Some dot in the I's and crossing the T's to do with getting the manual throttle body on it. And like I said, lowering things. I've also got the um, radiator, modified that quite a bit, different cross members and bits and pieces to get the radiator down and then able to use the FDFI Harrop um, OTR. Modified as well, but get that in there so that's going to look really good, flow good, and have nice clean air. Nice separate mount that's all done as part of the cross member, which mounts up a big um, water air intercooler. We've got, uh, we're building up a big reservoir to go on the side here, a reservoir and a catch can, um, MSD ignition system. Basically, the bonnet's starting to make sense. A lot more work. If you come around to the boot, I'll show you what the hill system looks like in the back of it. So just a starting point, just the, just the starting of it, but there's a decent sized twin fuel pump fuel system in the back of it on a fake backboard in there, which is all part of the, how that works, so there's still room for other stuff in behind the seats. Um, but yeah, a lot more to go with the car. Uh, this is just a starting video. The other things I should say to go with it, it's in the way of getting the horsepower, which really with the, the mid 600s at the wheels uh, we want to we plan on seeing or hope to see with this setup, the engines had quite a bit of, or some little upgrades. It was forged pistons, H-beam rods, a, um, a com crankshaft, all good bits and pieces there. But we've now gone to com cylinder heads, we've grabbed the block, we've changed the cam profile. One of my custom grinds have gone up with a better go, a Camtech custom grind camshaft. I've designed that to go up and lift it a little bit further. This runs, uh, 3,000 stall in front of a turbo 400 which are all modified and I've also now built to go on behind the DeFilippo headers it's a single um, 4 inch or twin 3 inch into single 4 inch to go over the live axle so 9 inch to go in it, lots of work, lots of bits and pieces, even got to put a little cage in it but um, this is where we're at at the moment a um, bit more to go into the bonnet with the reservoir and things, a little bit of finishing but you can get a decent idea of it um, and it fired up like it's supposed to all ready to well do some finishing, do some tuning, then it goes away for some trim and other bits and pieces. But um, anyway, this is the beginning of the project and it's alive. 